Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing my personal top 10 favorite Brutal Death Metal albums. Um, I'm not going to do a um, top 10 Brutal Death Metal albums of all time because it's going to be, you know, Dying Fetus, Suffocation, Cryptops, it's going to be all just generic stuff. And there's just way too much stuff and it's just way too controversial. So I'm just going to do my personal favorite, that way I get to keep my opinion. But um, we're going to talk about the criteria, so I'm going to exclude um, albums with a lot of grind core elements. So, like, um, Mortician with Hacked Up for Barbecue, um, Malicious Hate with In the Name of Hate, um, Disordered Documentaries of Disgust, and Reinfection, They Die for Nothing. Um, all four albums that I um, normally listen to a lot, but I'm not going to put on because, like I said, you know, they're, they're mostly death grind. And I'll do a death grind video as well. Um, Two more honorable mentions would be Viscera Infest and Discord, you know, more like the gore grind, brutal death metal stuff. But, um, some more honorable mention, uh, Guttural Bands, uh, Goratory with, um, Sexual Intercorps is really fun to listen to, along with Putridity Degenerating. And, um, a very good must honorable mention is Regurgitation with Tales and Necrophilia. Um, super dark and very brutal. I just, um, don't listen to it as much as I used to, but it's still a phenomenal gateway um, band into like the really dark and obscene, uh, grisly type of brutal death metal style that I like. So at number 10, hailing from Slovakia, we have Eritrosi with Incomplete Minds. <laughs> I'm very fond of this one because it has a lot of cool um, guitar licks and just some stuff that you really don't hear in Brutal Death Metal. I mean, this, this did come out in 1996, so it had that going for it. It makes me laugh too because I was the first one in my friend group to really find this. Um, a very hidden gem. Number nine, we have a band that I um fell in love with this past year, uh, Cenotaph from Turkey with puked general purulency. It's gore filled catchiness, like, <laughs> there's no other way to describe it. At number eight, hailing from Canada, we have Rotting with Crushed. It has Godzilla sound effects. And the riffs are beefy. At number seven, we have Broken Hope with the Bowels of Repugnance. <laughs> this album means a lot to me. I got it signed by my uh, good friend Jeremy Wagner, who's uh, the founding guitarist of the band. And to me personally, I think that it um, defeats the previous Swamped and Gore, which was a huge landmark in Brutal Death Metal to begin with. At number six, I'm choosing Hidden Pride with Brutal Advice. And just like Rotting, it's a uh, Canadian band. Just something about these Canadian bands, man. They're just beefy ass riffs. At number five, I'm going with Cerebral Hemorrhage with Exempting Reality. I um just bought this online and I didn't feel like waiting to get it to for the video, so here's a picture. <laughs> To me, Cerebral Hemorrhage was the best New York slamming brutal death metal band of that era, so like the later 90s, like 
98, 99 to 2001-ish. Um, it, I think it blows away Skinless's debut. I think it blows away um, Dehumanize's debut. I don't give a fuck! Fuck! fuck. So for number four, we're going to continue on the New York death metal train. We got Pyrexia with Sermon of Mockery. This is one of the catchiest um, New York brutal death metal bands out there, if not the catchiest. Um, it's just plain evil. And um, I actually own three different presses. I have the Pathos, which is my personal favorite, the Century Media version, and then a BL of the original um, Drown production copy. I feel like this is like the one um, proto slam or like one New York death metal band and album that just like gets completely forgotten and underappreciated by far. The only New York brutal death metal album that really tops Pyrexia for me is Internal Bleeding with Voracious Content. This is by far my favorite example of brutal slamming death metal, and this goes beyond heaviness. There's an infamous phrase from this band too, it's often copied, never imitated. But honestly, I really wish that a lot of bands would imitate this album because a lot of slam just freaking sucks nowadays. And this is the blueprint for, in my opinion, like crushing, brutal slamming death metal. At number two, I choose Destined to Fail by Scattered Remnants. I'ma say it, I prefer Destin the Fail over the previous EPs and demos by the band. This thing just straight rips, it has no chill at all, it's straight to the balls and it has crazy interludes. <laughs> yeah. To me it just flows so well and the songwriting on this is just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. So for number one, my favorite Brutal Death Metal album of all time, and also my favorite album of all time, is Forensic by Mortal Decay. <laughs> the biggest thing about Forensic is just the vocals. <laughs> the singer Johnny uses a combination of hardcore shouts, Grizzly, low, guttural, froggy type vocals. A lot of people say that the previous album, Sickening Erotic Fanaticism, is one of the darkest brutal death metal albums and Mortal Decay's Darkness. But I honestly think the Forensic is way darker and way more crazier. Forensic is also filled with twists and turns at every corner. Um, I'm very fortunate enough to have been able to meet all the members personally, um, hang out with a few, and also get this thing fully signed by all five members. Forensic is definitely my most treasured CD in my collection and something that I would never part ways with and this will stay with me forever. It's 
That's gonna do it for today. Uh, this video was actually very challenging because I'm really not a big fan of full length brutal death metal albums. I think that the EPs and demos of a lot of bands are just way better than the full lengths they put out. So this took a few days of brainstorming, but um, let me know what you guys think and show your opinions. You know, tell me what um, brutal death metal albums you all love. Peace out.